Hello! My name is Navigator, and I have lied to you. This is not going to be an unboxing, but it will be a review. Unfortunately, when I did rip them out of the packaging, my uh, my camera died. So I lost that footage. Obviously, I can't put them back in there and unbox them again. That's impossible. But what I figured I would do in lieu of the unboxing is, of course, do a review. But I also wanted to do a comparison of this new John Moxley, what is it, Unrivaled Series 12 uh, AEW action figure. So with all that out of the way, let's just get into it. And I gotta say, I am a little upset because, in typical with a lot of other collectors, there has been a lot of staining on this figure. You can see there on the shoulder, bit of staining. I also have a little bit more on the bicep there. And the same thing on this arm, although it's not as egregious. And overall, it really isn't even that bad, not really even that noticeable, not an eyesore or anything like that. But of course, it is a little upsetting that Jazzwares has not improved their... Uh, materials for their soft goods. A little annoyed about that. And actually, he did come with some packaging on the arms and on the torso, but it didn't really do anything. So that was kind of redundant. But anyways, I do want to say this is my current favorite John Moxley figure. I have to say that this thing is awesome. I love the new pants. A hell of a lot more detail than, than we've seen with the other ones, and I'll show that in just a second. He's got some new tattoo work uh, under his forearm there. And I feel like the tattoos overall just a little bit more visible uh, than they typically were. I I think that he actually has his wedding band tattooed on. Obviously, in the ring, sometimes if you had that thing on, it might be a little bit uh, dangerous. So that's a nice touch as well, Mr. Moxley. I uh, got Mox on the back there, some more prints here on the front. And it's just really cool. I got to say, my favorite head sculpt as well. I think this head sculpt perfectly represents John Moxley. Uh, I will say, listen, I'm not really one to talk, but his hair is definitely a little bit more receding than this. This is maybe like five years ago his hair was at that point. He's definitely going a lot balder now, but that's okay. You know, it's what, one in three men or something like that? Who cares? But this is a great representation. I gotta say, I really do love it. A lot of people were saying that they didn't like this head sculpt as compared to the other ones, but uh, yeah. So let's, let's get to that comparison though. Let's throw him here. Let's uh, throw him down right there, and then we'll get the other uh, John Moxley, and I have a Dean Ambrose figure as well, just to kind of show the lineage. So let's go in order with these. I think that th obviously this is the latest one, so we'll throw him down there. And then uh, I think that this is the newer one. I co of course have the jacket on there from another John Moxley, but this one with the uh, this came with the Darby Allen John Moxley two pack. So that's definitely a little bit newer. And then this is the kind of like the, one of the first ones that they did with those pants there. So there you have it. And then finally here, we do have the uh, WWE Basic um, Dean Ambrose figure there. So pretty sweet, I got to say. But out of the four of these, I mean, obviously the Basic is out of here. But out of the three of these, that is definitely my favorite one so far. And uh, just kind of looking at the head sculpts, we'll use uh, the kendo stick one as, a, one in a, uh, excuse me, as an example. I think that this one is just a lot better than the one on the side. This does this represents him well, don't get me wrong, but I think that this is a far better representation of him, especially with his new kind of look. He's kind of got a fuller beard as opposed to like this kind of shorter one. I think that this is, does a great job. And there's obviously an improvement on the tattoos. This one has them. You can see right there, and this is just a little bit brighter. Uh, but yeah, I love it. And then, of course, with this one, my... Oh, God, the figure's so loose. It's so... Uh, I'm so glad to actually have one that isn't loose or, or too stiff or anything like that. It's super cool. And and then let's do, yeah, let's compare him to the other, the basic, I guess. You come a long way, Jonathan Good. I do have to say, this guy looks like he's seen a bunch of things. But then again, he was called the uh, the lunatic fringe. So there you have it. But yeah, uh, with all the out of the way, we can take a look at some of the accessories. This shirt is really cool. Although the, uh, the print on the front is just like way too obvious. I figured like they could have maybe like meshed this skull into the, the, cloth as itself, but it just looks like there's like a sticker on the shirt. It's kind of weird, but I guess that's how they have to mass produce them. And he does come with two extra, or sorry, he comes with one set of extra hands. He has a one of each currently equipped right now, but he does have kind of a, an open gripped hand and then a fist as well. So let's, uh, let's get all these guys out of the way. They've kind of, uh, they kind of had their, their time in the sun. And we'll finish up with this review of this new John Moxley figure. Gotta say, oh man, super happy to have this in my collection. I do apologize for the kind of uh, the gorilla style of this unboxing, as you would call it. Um, but yeah, I just really wanted to do a review of this. Super cool, and I can't wait to add him to my AEW ring. I'm going to have him in the whole uh, the whole Death Rider maneuver and everything with Kenny Omega, and that'll be super cool. But overall, got to say, I love this thing. All right, I'm not going to bore you guys anymore, but thank you so much for watching. I wish that the uh, original footage hadn't left. It would have been a lot better, but oh well. It's my channel. I can do what I want. So with all that being said, my name is, oh geez, my name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care.